Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 35 of the let, Lloyd and Matt show. Let me sit down. Let me talk. Let me talk. Episode 35 of the Lloyd and Matt show. Welcome back everyone. Please what? give the video a like if you're on YouTube. Thanks. And then five stars on Spotify. Thanks. Yep. Cool. Yeah, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Thanks. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. We haven't seen each other in a while, actually. Yeah, we don't really see each other much nowadays. No, we're more colleagues now than anything. Yeah, I was thinking that. I've been away for six days it's on a hunting it, uh, trip. It, it gets... It gets uh, <laughs> you didn't even know what I said. You are on a hunting trip? Yeah. That's where you were, weren't you? Yeah, hunting souls. You sent me um, pictures of you in Scotland gathering fire and <laughs> venison. <laughs> I don't hunt, guys. Don't worry. I wasn't on a hunting trip with with, with <laughs> Marty and the gang. <laughs> uh, where were you? I was cooking it up in London. Because uh, Lloyd's uh, a drug dealer now. <laughs> the HMRC. Look at this guy. Yeah, I was on, I was on work, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we went to a, uh, a decent event. We did. We went to an Ace of Fin party, which is our management, and it was sick. It was carved. I got this hoodie. Yeah, for free. What for you? What I did you? Ha- like literally <laughs> push people out the way. No, the the rail was gone. Yeah. Like it had this all on a rail and it was all gone. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I said to one of the people working there, I was like, have I missed the drop? And they were like, no, nah, lucky enough, there's one more drop, but you got to be quick. Yeah. So I just stood by the rail <laughs> the <whole night. laughs> for like 20 minutes. Me and this one guy, me and Raj, we just stood there waiting. And then as soon as he put, I took it off. Yeah, put it on. He it put off. one on the rail and I took it off. <laughs> Fair enough, it's worth yeah. it. It's cold. Oh, it's, it's, I'm not even, this isn't even like an ad. This is probably the nicest thing I've ever worn. Yeah, really? Mm. It's it's so heavy, it's relaxing. Anyway. It does look good as well. It looks cold. It's cold. We're back with your Agony Uncle section of the week. Yellis and Tam. Yellis and Tam. Coming Street. in clutch again. We should have an animated intro. Ooh, if someone wants Agony to make Uncles. us an uh, Agony Uncles intro, that would be... Just three seconds, just pop up and music, something on screen saying, Agony Uncles of the week. That, I like that. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> I'm a girl. <laughs> and I'm wondering if boys really care. There is a study that put men and women separately in rooms without any distractions. Men thought about sports and sex and women reviewed conversations that they'd had for the past few days. What do you think about that? I think that's true. You think if you were put in a room with nothing, you'd think about sports and sex? I, yeah. I had mm. been, <laughs> This is jealous and time to Yeah. No, but I, I actually think I would. You don't think you'd think about your past few days, like conversations you've had and stuff? No, I'd probably lean my foot up on a table and just ponder. <laughs> and uh, No, I would think... I wouldn't really think about... The anything no. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think <yeah. laughs> Messi no I Be, uh, pussy. It, it depends how long you're in the room for yeah and is it is it am I just on my own yeah I would I feel like when I'm alone like I've just experienced yeah <laughs> I tend to go into like a really uh like deep yeah I think men th- really think about a lot yeah, when I, they're alone it's I don't I don't fully believe that. Maybe on a short-term scale, like really short-term. If you asked him for one topic, yeah, like it, if you put him in a room on his own for ten minutes, you walked in, you asked him, "Oh, what, speak to me about something." Yeah, it would be sport. Yeah, it would be sport. Probably. So it, it probably would be. But most men actually are very deep thinkers. I think. Well, I didn't speak to anyone for eight hours the other day. Like not one person out loud. I didn't send a voice note. Didn't really talk at all. Yeah. I sung in the shower. Like yeah. nothing. Like I'd never sung before because I was home alone. I mean, <laughs> yeah. but. <laughs> but I feel like I go into like this super like I get detached from with everything. who I, with who I, like everything like why are we here yeah like what is going on like why why am I actually here I don't know like who I don't who like are thinking you? about who it. yeah you? no I'm my own person no but your perception of me is different to what I think I am yeah everyone's is like for everyone who thinks about you will think about you slightly yeah, it's differently different you're different in everyone's yeah and the last six days no but why are you here. I don't know. Why are you here? No, but I can't imagine me being me in your eyes. Like, I can't imagine I'm here for you. So I can't imagine me being here at all. Okay. Like, I just, that just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's more for me that everyone has their own lights. It's like, the last six days, my brain has been thinking about something constantly for the last six days. What is that? And yours is as well. No, it changes all the time. How to grow your penis. But your brain brain is constantly working. So for six days, you... Have been non-stop 
but we've just been in separate things. Like, so your own life. That's yeah. what gets me it's weird. And I've been watching I'm a Celebrity. Same. And I'm like, they're real. They are all real people. And they're Do doing it. And they're it. doing it now. They're in the jungle now. Live. And I did see a video of, it was a clip of, I think it was Jamie. She woke up Sam from a nap. Yeah. And it was really weird to see a human being who was asleep just like get up and start making a fire within about 10 seconds of being asleep and i was looking at that and i was like it just really took me back for some reason <laughs> like it just didn't make sense like he's driving a car yeah like they're actually thinking about driving a car and they're he's going to work or he's going to do he's got his own life he's got his own kids got his own family he grew up here yeah, da, 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 everything so, that, no but you're literally we're just discovering life exists <laughs> No, but you, to, it, do you think that you're like the, the, in the middle of it all? Do you think you're the center of the world or do you think that you're just another one of these people? Which you are. I think I am <laughs> the center of the world. Yeah, I think I'm the center because of the world. Because you have to. You can't go about life thinking it's not, no. the, you're not the main thing of, of the world. You have to be like... Main character. Yeah, and you, you, if you picture your uh, life like a film yeah, and you want to do... How do you, how does this film want to go for you? Mm. And you just have to do it. Yeah. I feel like you can do it. If you think about yourself as just a tiny speck that doesn't exist, yeah. no one will remember you, da, 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 then you'll just live a boring life. Do you think, when will be the last time someone ever thinks about you? Like someone says Lloyd Boucher? Because obviously... I think it depends how long the internet lasts. No, 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 no. Because like my uh, great granddad, I still say his name. So therefore yeah. he still lives. Yeah. But will my grandson say his name? Will he say, so does that mean he's officially gone by everyone now? Does that make sense? I don't think, be, I think people who still have family alive yeah. are never, will never be gone. No, because I don't know who my great, 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 great is. But you could, is. and some people I do. I could, but no, but no one knows who he is. Like no one alive here today knows who he is unless we go in a book and look at the family tree. But someone your age yeah. may be speaking about him because... Oh, because it's... It was someone else's husband or well. friend or... Yeah. Da, 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 da. So you'll never... I know he was called William. Who? My granddad. Because... Your granddad? The, my great, 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 great... For the... For you like, just took all the greats off it at the start. No, but, <laughs> you just said my granddad. No, but... Yeah, my granddad's William. My great granddad's William. My great great granddad's William. They're all just called William. They're all William. And this was the first generation where there's no Williams. Really? Yeah, it was weird, isn't it? Oh. They didn't get very creative back in the day. <laughs> I feel like that is that was a thing though. You just call them your, you, your own name. Damn, we were meant to be agony uncles. We, we are. <laughs> I think we've just answered the agony uncle by whether we would just think about sports and sex there if we, we were put go. in a room. We wouldn't. Uh, but did you see that touchdown last night, bro? <laughs> yeah. He slammed that pussy. Been seeing someone for a month and he steers clear from the commitment talk because he says, don't you know how I feel about you? I considered myself single and fucked around with another dude. Is that cheating? I think he'd be upset. He refuses to give me clarity, but I feel the guilt regardless. Wait, so so when he says he steers away from a co commitment, it's like he doesn't want anything? No, he just doesn't talk about it. He just says, don't you know how I feel about you? Like, why do I have to say? Yeah, but don't I know how I feel about you makes it sound like he is interested in her. Yeah, exactly. That's right, what okay, I think. Okay, okay, okay. But I think it's like, um, like a, you know, like a lot of people after a month of seeing someone or whatever, they're kind of scared of yeah. it being serious. Mm -hmm. So they take a step back. I think he's like not ready yeah. to let his guard down to just say, oh, and be really forward and be like, oh, I want you to do that. So he's just saying, don't you know how I feel about it? Like, isn't it a bit obvious? Like I like you, but I don't want to say. But sh And she has been. She's got with someone else. Oh. So I think he likes you. I think he, yeah, I reckon give him a chance. But I still think you have to tell him what happened. It, oh. You can't build a relationship on lies. Yeah, but there is no lies there. Lies. lies. <laughs> There's a lie there. Yeah, but technically there is no lies if you don't say it. Technically. We're working on technicalities because here. Because you could possibly um, be seeing this guy and it could be like, I don't know how to say it, like get it into a sentence. Like it could be nothing and you could see another guy. But then you could think like let's start again like you could have a fresh start from there from yeah. after you've done it but that has to be both of you he might not want a fresh to, start uh, because he it might have been his start yeah but then again like how many times right have you well i'm not saying you but like i meant in general how many times 
has like you met someone and there's never you've been flirty with each other but nothing's really happened and then you sleep with somebody else or they sleep with somebody else and then next week you start flirting or whatever and you start building a relationship but a week prior to that you were sleeping with somebody else pair never happened no i feel like that happens a lot not for me never happened for me are you sure? Never. You sound so defensive. It's never happened for I me. wasn't even talking to you about you. No, you asked me though, didn't you? No, I, I thought said, you said, how many times have I you? I said you, but then I was like, I'm not saying you, okay, I meant okay, in general. Yeah, I thought you were asking me. Okay, okay. That's what I said. Yeah, but um, I feel like that happens quite a bit. I think you should tell him. Because I think for him, his, he's, it's been a month. Like he's... It's been a year, daddy. You can't, you can't just make the decision that it's a fresh start because you did something <laughs> I think he deserves to know if you want it to be serious. Yeah, I feel like if it... Yeah, I feel like if it gets proper serious, then maybe he should know. And if he's saying, don't you know how I feel about you? Like, that's not as good as him saying, I love you or I care for you or whatever. But But he's still... If you're seeing each other... But if he's not giving it all that... Then walk away. Why would you want it? Yeah, walk away, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Pause. Should condoms be free in all pharmacies to under 18 year olds to help reduce teenage pregnancy? Um, oh, that is a very good question. I can't lie. I uh, think 100%, no? Yeah, but then it, they could just be, you could be an 18 year old and just get it for somebody else. Do you know what I mean? Under 18 year olds? Yeah, like you could, uh, uh, an adult could just use under 18 year olds to get them that stuff. Yeah, I guess, but isn't that like loads of things? Plus, aren't condoms free for under 18 year olds anyway? In like your school or something. Yeah. yeah I, I feel like so. I feel like you can actually go and ask for your Yeah, or your sex clinic, they're free. And they're not they're not branded, it's like a state name, like it's like NHS given. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, but what if they want the luxury ones? <laughs> they need them for free. <laughs> the luxury ones. I think they should be free. And I think they are in schools. I'm pretty sure they are in school. If you speak to people in school, I'm pretty sure you can get condoms for free. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent sure. Like a hundred percent sure. But also you shouldn't be having sex that early. <laughs> Look after yourself. Yeah, safe sex. Also, they're what, two pound in Sainsbury's? No, it's like twelve pound for six it's like ten pound for six. You can get if you go to those dispensers in the toilet. Yeah, get one private. that will rip and do uh, They're Jurex. No what in the Sainsbury's toilets. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're proper I never bought them from the toilet. I, that's where I get my Viagra, <laughs> Jesse. <Jersey. laughs> Imagine. No, but that's did I ever tell you that's what I used to do? You used to go to the Sainsbury's toilets. Yeah, because I was underage. Oop. When they three pound for one or something. Yeah, I was too nervous to do it. So my mate used to do it for me and he used to just supply like all of the people are in our year that were pussies getting lit yeah. with condoms. He used to just go like who? We'll blow his name out. Yeah, <laughs> but he we wait. Did, but he wasn't getting laid. So no. why was he was just a distributor? He yeah, wasn't he, a he, user. I don't even think he took interest. I think he just did it for the fun of it. Like he would go to the toilet and get like five, six boxes, and then just next day at school give it to us. <laughs> and you paid him. Yeah, it was like three quid for one. No, for. Uh, four. Okay. Pack of four. <laughs> Damn. That is such a weird thought to think about. Oh my God. And I, I like, it's just so weird. And I remember when I was with this girl, shouldn't be saying this. It's not even, it's not even like, I was just with this girl and I walked l- like two miles <laughs> to a Sainsbury's <laughs> at night to, to go get in the some, toilet. Too. And the toilets were shut. <laughs> And I was like, boy. I fancy one of the chefs at work, but I'm in a relationship. Everyone's everyone's noticed we are friendly and keep coupling us up. I said that so weirdly. I don't think about it often, but it's crossed my mind. I feel disrespectful to my partner for even thinking about it. My partner will always come first. Am I a bad person for entertaining the thought? I mean, like, if it's a thought and it is just a thought and it's not uh, taken priority over your husband's yeah if he's, if he's always coming first do you feel like if you are happily married 10 20 years into a relationship you won't fancy or fantasize about other people surely it must happen though maybe naturally i don't think i'd fancy anyone no, 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 i think no, i'd I, find someone attractive yeah i don't, I don't think, think i would fanci- no, no you're right and maybe i'm guessing this person is young so i'm guessing if, even if you've got this sign already maybe that is a bit of a bad thought 
you, uh, if you fancy someone. If yeah, you, maybe she just thinks he's... I don't know, but if, you're, no, if but people are coupling you exactly. up at work and you're oh. flirting and stuff, I think you can't go to work, flirt and yeah. come home. And you're leaving a double life. Yeah. Just, you have a partner who probably treats you spectacularly. You have a partner who is going to work every day and being coupled up with a random lady. <laughs> Imagine if he listens to this as well. Damn. And he goes, you work in a kitchen, don't yeah. you, babe? <laughs> I think put the partner first. If yeah. you're having thoughts that are If you find yourself you. like fantasizing about him and like properly flirting with him, just think about your partner. If he was doing that at work, how would, how you, would you like it? Always switch it around. I feel like I would never need to do that because it's just like common sense. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, but I think... Uh, I I just would never f- I I would never be give that signal to anyone. No, I would. No, if, no, if someone's coupling me up with yeah. someone else, I'd be like, what What am I doing? Exactly. Like, surely I'd something's going wrong. Oh, Oh, hundred percent. It's like awful. having a work husband. Like that's like a thing, isn't it? It's like oh, a- it is. And that happened to a friend of mine, a friend of ours. What they they? She had a boyfriend, and, and he had a work girlfriend. She no one was like coupling them up or anything, but thing. But she was like, this guy is like. I'm so attracted to him Mm. and I can't stop thinking about him Mm. when I'm with my boyfriend. Oh dear. So she left her boyfriend. So I was like, that's the, that's the good thing to do. Yeah. Um, and then she started dating him and she said it was just like rubbish. Yeah. It's like, it's once you've got a taste of the cherry or whatever it's called. (laughs) Okay. You don't want it anymore. It's like a slice of the cake. Yeah. It's like a want, it's like a want, but can't have. It's like a greed. Everyone regrets it. I swear. Yeah. I've never met one person where it was like, yeah, and it worked out just fine. Yeah. Oh, actually no, 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 no. My, an ex-girlfriend's parents, she like nabbed him off somebody else. And now they're married. And with kids. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Help. I need somebody. Help. How do I break up with my boyfriend? I like him a lot. He is my best friend. I can talk to him about everything, but the feelings just aren't there anymore. The problem is now his dad has cancer and it is really bad. Wow. Whoa, that caught me so off guard. Holy. I can't break up with him. It will hurt him so much and he needs me now. But maybe it will hurt more if I do it in a few months and he finds out that I wanted to break up with him the whole time. What are your thoughts about it? What should I do? Now or wait? Wait. Yeah, 100% wait. He'll never know that you wanted to break up with him a few months ago yeah, unless I, you I, tell him. I wouldn't say that to him. Oh, like I was going to do it a few months ago, but your dad, like, yeah, don't ever way. say don't that. Say yeah, that. No. Just say, are you just help be there for him, help him through? Are you breaking up with him because of his dad? No, of course she isn't. No, but if she, if he, and you might, you might find in a few months' time, it might, this be might bring better. you to. What this might yeah this might make him stronger yeah them going the going through that yeah but yeah I wouldn't do it now I think you need nah. to be selfless yeah I think there are certain times uh, and I just wait and be around him because you you said you're his best friend yeah so that's not something a best friend would do no either. exactly even if your feelings aren't there you still don't want to see him upset yeah. yeah stick it out hang around look after him. I thought you were talking to me then. No, no. Stick it out, hang around, look after him. Yeah. Be the best person you this can be. Is, we've been well serious. This, this episode, yeah. These aren't very jokey dilemmas uh, yeah. either. Okay, I'll say I'll be, so, I'll be so jokey to the next dilemma. Okay. I'll say I'll be Yellis and Tam, like, properly. There's this one girl in my class. Suck it. She's... <laughs> There's this one girl in my class. She's so perfect. Oh... The only problem is she has so many friends in the class. Well, I'm just a quiet guy, you know. Mm. Nobody knows my name except <laughs> nobody knows my name except her. How do you, how does that happen? How does no one know your name? But the most popular, gorgeous girl. She followed him back on Insta. Ho, ho, ho. I really want to shoot my shot, but I'm afraid that she would tell her friends about me, and everyone would make fun of me. What should I do? I'm a university student. There are 50 students in my class. So that's why no one knows his name because it's uni. You never met. Yeah. I would also, I'd probably try and involve myself in bigger groups. Yeah. Gain a bit more popularity and then just suck it. <laughs> smother it everywhere. <laughs> that's the yellow sense I'm out. No, but yeah, become him and yeah. then she'll ask you out. Do you know how easy it is to be him? Like just, just to be your, the man. What's your step-by-step guide to being him? You, d- and then it, when it, are you going to start I, taking your own advice? <laughs> <laughs> it's just confidence <laughs> no it really is confidence yep 
You can d- I, I'm, Yeah but you have to be confident no, about I, something I'm a, No but I'm a firm believer That if you are confident in anything You will just go so far in life Yes yeah. I know my, <laughs> I just, what you did, you're so- I've wrapped my uh, joggers around my sock My toes, cause my toes Yeah so if tough. you're confident you'll be You can do anything in life with confidence yeah, but have you seen those people who like make jetpacks and think they can fly and shit and then they just die because of overconfidence? <laughs> no, I meant with persona. You could you can make anything look good with confidence. Mm. Yeah, people wear like the most outrageous outfits and, and you're you, like, oh. You could say what anything anything you want with confidence. Should he shoot his shot or not? Karma. Karma. Down, yeah. Karma. Relax. Otro cinco. Get closer. Wait five. Wait five. Just, just wait it out. Get closer. Get in a big group. Yep. Uh, and become a stalker. bit more. No, it wouldn't be stalker. That. No, no, don't stalk from across the <laughs> place. Follow her. See where Buy she some lives. Binoculars. Yeah. Scout out her uni Hidden house. Hidden cameras. <laughs> Meet her outside the club. No, yeah, and maybe. No, maybe you do stalk her. No. <laughs> don't stalk no, her. No, don't stalk her. But if you do see her, for example. It's just an example. If you see her in a coffee shop every single day at this time, maybe just be like, I'll go to this coffee shop at this time in the hopes that I bump into her and we spark up a conversation. Is that then stalking? Because I have no doubt in my mind that loads of people have put themselves in a position where they know they're going to see someone. Is that stalking? I would just say it's crazy what love does to a man. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I... I, 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 (laughs) No, but I, I'm pretty sure I've done that. Right, you've been like, oh, well, like, I'm just going to go to this club because she'll be at this club. That's so, I don't think that's stalking. That's so harmless. Do you know what I mean? That's not like a, that's not like a, I'm going to follow her home. I'm going to follow everything. I'm going to make sure I know where she is all the time. Yeah. It's like I worked in John Lewis. I don't know if you know. Yeah. And I fancied a girl that was in a specific area of the store. Yeah, uh, and you weren't allowed to like leave your gap or whatever. But I was the king, so I just sort of wandered off all the time, and mm. I'd always wander up there to go sit. Mm. I always got taken down by my manager, but those five minutes were so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a lifetime. <laughs> but I actually would always do that. Yeah, and I'd always, I was always over here. She was all, always over there, and she was in a part of store which I hated. But I was like, like I said, for love, it's crazy what <laughs> love does to a man. Still, my friends are so obsessed with boys, and that's all they revolve their lives and conversations Sorry, about. Say that again. My friends, my friends are so obsessed with boys, and that's all they revolve their lives and conversations about. Mm. It really pisses me off listening to it twenty four seven, but I don't know what to do. Do you think they're the worst type of girls, the ones who just just talk about boys? I've had plenty of women say that to me. The, their friends just yeah. talk about yeah they're yeah, so boy yeah. obsessed I've had that i heard that I don't think guys are like that not at all not at all I, I, I've i said to you you've said to me in the past and <laughs> <laughs> said like, what said, I've said to no, you no like oh this girl's attractive yeah. oh like this girl said this to me mm. but it's never ever it's straight back on sports and <laughs> yeah <laughs> Straight back, but no, we never. Boys typically don't never gossip. Do that. Don't. Oh no. no. I actually, we actually just don't gossip. No. Weird. We just talk about other stuff. But I've had girls saying to me like, "Oh, I want to leave this friendship group because I'm I'm the fourth girl out of three, and all the three talk about is what club are we going to? Because what boys are there? Yeah. Uh, what boy does this? Oh, I saw this boy in this. This boy does this, and that must be tiring if you are literally just not interested. Yeah. I feel, like it, I feel like it is culture though at uni. Do you not think? Like yeah, more, with, more so than people, not at uni. Getting yeah. with people is like a huge thing. Yeah. This is British casual, culture. Casual, drinking and casual sex, casual yeah. it's That's so why we're, we're old fashioned. <laughs> it's true, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, maybe uh wander wander off to another friendship group. It's just so much easier said than done, though. How does she go and it make new so, friends? Yeah, it's so true. Um, join or, a club. Yeah. Join an activity. Join something. Or get them to do an activity with you where it takes their mind off things, like pottery painting. Yep. Pottery uh, painting, yeah. Go to a kitten cafe. Yeah, there is one. Done here. Oh, right. I just thought you meant in general. <laughs> in general. <laughs> yeah, just do... Uh, or dog any- yoga. Yeah. do that. Yeah. 
just do anything that shouldn't mean that they're just sat speaking about boys and yeah. see if they still do it. And then you'll know whether it's just you need to get them to do stuff and not just sit around. But then that's knackering, you know. What, being going the, and doing be, stuff with no, your friends? Being the organiser for that mm-hmm. can get tiring. Some people like it, though, because they like choosing what to do and they yeah. like choosing when to do it. I'd like to know what happens to this this little yeah, lass. Yeah, follow us up on Another Dilemma in a month. <laughs> little lass. <laughs> Let us know how it goes. You can join you our group if friends. you want. Yeah. You yeah, can maybe join, join a group of guys. Because a, yeah. a guy group would always accept you. Yeah, and they don't gossip. No. They'll treat you like a bloke. Yeah. You'll love it. You'll love it. Yeah. Do I'd, that. I'd say, and it's so, so easy. You know, guys, just be like, oh, can I hang out? All you have to do is start hanging out with one. And then the one becomes like three of them. And then before you know it, you're with a prize with like five guys getting chug, chug, chug. Yeah. And then, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. That was great advice. Oh, see? Oh, I actually did something. <laughs> And then when you're there... <laughs> no. <laughs> Get sloppy. <laughs> Worst stepdad jokes of all time, go. My wife threatened to leave me because of my filthy and disgusting habits. Okay. I was so shocked, I almost choked on my toenails. It's <laughs> 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 so good. <laughs> I told a dad joke on a Zoom call mm-hmm. and nobody laughed. Turns out I'm not even remotely funny. <laughs> I was out walking the dogs today and someone asked me if they were Jack Russells. <laughs> I said, no, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Volcanic kind of corruption of 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say no. I got arrested the other night I got drunk And I left my car at the bar And took the bus home <laughs> Turns out you can't drive a bus drunk either <laughs> <laughs> Took the bus home. I called my doctor and said I need an urgent appointment He said hmm How about 10 tomorrow I said no I don't need that many <laughs> I accidentally swallowed a bunch of Scrabble tiles I feel like my next trip to the toilet could spell disaster (laughs) So bad Terrible I asked a shop worker where the milk was Okay She said buy the bread I said don't you dare tell me what to purchase (laughs) (laughs) That's so good (laughs) I took my family to a seaside cheese market. Mm-hmm. We all felt the breeze. <laughs> I want you to blind rank these famous people beginning with the letter N. Okay, let's go. Nelson Mandela. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you're going to set me up. I'm going to leave one empty. I'm going to put him two. Okay. Probably should be one, but I'm going to put him two. <laughs> Natalie Portman. <laughs> Three. Nicholas Holt. Ooh, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four. Nicky Minaj. God, five or one. Five. She can't go above Nelson Mandela. <laughs> okay. Well, this person might. Oh, Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Above Nelson Mandela. <laughs> he should have put in one. <laughs> I want you to blind rank these celebrities beginning with the letter C. Okay. Christian Bale. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to go two as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm. One of the goats. Yeah. Colin Firth. Oh, man. Just watch Love Actually. Yeah. Okay. Because he so got, speaks Portuguese. Yeah, <laughs> badly. Like you did. So we got one, four, five. Yep. Cameron Diaz. Okay, four, but that is a joke. <laughs> that is a jig. <laughs> Charles Bronson. Notorious prisoner. One or five. Well, he's got to be five. Yeah. Has to be. Okay, so number one. 
Charles Manson. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be five. So. Leave one open. <laughs> Save the two fucking worst people for last. <laughs> Have you seen the McDonald's menu in Asia? No. Mental. Is it? Crazy. Let's go. In China, you can get the German sausage double beef burger. <laughs> What is that? That's not even the worst one. That's probably the best one on it. The bun looks good. <laughs> they look like fingers, though. Oh. For a limited drop, oh. you were able to get this, but but it sold out everywhere, and it was a huge hit. Yeah. And they're bringing it back. Okay. It's the Spam and Oreo Burger. That is real. I swear to God, that's real. Spam and Oreo. It was a hit. It sold out. You couldn't buy it. What have they done to their taste buds? <laughs> Sp- they were like, people were saying it might look like a random combination. Combination. <laughs> but it was a hit. They said they loved it. No, no. Why do I kind of want to try it? Why is it like, <laughs> why is it kind of drawing me in a bit to try it? <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I think that would taste good in my mouth. I'm not even joking. <laughs> You're f- I know. You're weird. Sporio. <laughs> this one would get you jealous. Would it? Would it? You can buy Boba. Boba. <laughs> <laughs> bubble tea. They should do bubble tea in our McDonald's. Instead we get lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> so in South Korea. Yep. Maybe North. No, probably not North. No, nah, probably not. You can get any burger, but black. Is that, does that taste any different? Uh, apparently it just tastes the exact same. Does it? It's just for aesthetic. It does look pretty cool actually, not gonna lie. Solve racism too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is pretty cool. In China, you can get Coca-Cola chicken wings. Okay, they would bang. Have they would actually taste good. Fire. Yeah, they'd Have- be good. Have you ever had a Coca-Cola chicken before? No. This is so good. We should do it here. Yeah. Well, I had Coca-Cola roast, chicken roast. At for Christmas. <laughs> you have you have Coke <laughs> roast for Christmas. I did it at a mate's house. I did it. <laughs> I had it at a mate's house. It was so good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> is the worst she can say no? Absolutely not. I was in halls. Okay. I was in uni halls with a very gorgeous woman who discovered I was a virgin. Wow. She is very gorgeous to me. <laughs> and as a joke one night, she said she would sleep with me by the end of the uni year. As a joke? <laughs> is that the worst she can say is no, but <laughs> as a joke? <laughs> we spoke all the time, but I think she must have forgotten about it. Fast forward to after exams, I was out of prees and I was feeling very tipsy. I went into my toilet and sent a voice note to this gorgeous girl basically saying, it's the end of the year now, will you sleep with me? (laughs) Expecting it to be an obvious no and we could laugh about it privately. Later that night, we pull up to a house party that had a DJ. Yep. I see this girl and I give her a wave and her face drops. Yeah. She goes up to the DJ and stops the music. <gasps> she grabs the microphone uh, and puts it against her phone and plays my voice note out loud to the entire house party. That's the start of a villain arc. Are you joking <laughs> me? She's that's horrible. <laughs> voice note played to the whole party. <laughs> Are you joking me? I changed uni overnight. Yeah. <laughs> I changed country. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> Voice note play to the whole party. I think that is the worst thing <laughs> that's ever happened to anyone ever. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> There's no recovery. There's no nothing. He, like he, 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 it's the end of the year. Let's sleep together. Yeah. Like you can't be like, oh, I'm just joking. Like, you, I didn't want to sleep with you anyway. Like, oh. There's no coming back from that crazy what do you want to comment 
Cigarette smoke in the sunshine. <laughs> Why does your throat always do I that? I don't know. It's what I love. What do you actually want them to comment? They're not commenting cigarette smoke in the sunshine. <laughs> uh, comment white trousers. White trousers. Comment white trousers. Like the video if you're on YouTube. Follow Five us on Spotify. Spotify. Follow us up on Instagram. Lloyd and Matt. Lloyd Boucher and Matthew Mosey underscore. Yep. Like the video on YouTube. You probably already said that. Notifications on every Tuesday. And hit that whap. Hey. So, don't, can you edit that out? No, <laughs> stand in. Bye, everyone. <laughs>